creating dependent views. We want to create a dependent view. It's like taking a snapshot of a current view and it depends on that view. It will project everything from the first view to the dependent view. This is very common for things that don't fit on one sheet. We'll split it up into two sheets. So here we're going to split up this floor plan into a left and right. We're going to do this by going up to our view tab click on our view tab and then we'll go into our create uh, panel and we're going to go to our dependent views um, and underneath here we have duplicate as dependent and so we'll just make a copy of this and bam it made a copy of it and if you hit the plus sign under this first floor, you'll see I have a name. And I'm going to come over here and just change this name. Let's rename. I'm going to say left. I'm going to say OK. And before I do that, I'm going to go up to the first floor again. Double click on it. I'm going to go over to my create and I'm going to go to duplicate as dependent. I'm going to create another one and I'm going to click on this, right click, say rename. I'm going to call this right. And I'll say OK. Now, I'm in the right one, so I'll click on my drawing view here. Double click on my drawing view. And, whoop. I don't want to do that. So there we go. So I'm going to click. All right, computer, speed up. I'm going to click, and you'll see I have a board, a border here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this. This is my right, so I'm going to drag it over to show my right. Uh, side of my drawing. Okay, so I adjust my crop windows, and there's the right side of my drawing. I'm going to go over and double click on my left. I'm going to click on my drawing, on my view. I click on my view. Alright, come on. Computer's having a cow here. I'm going to click on my view. And I'm going to make this the left side. So I'm going to drag it from the left side. And I'm going to basically cut it about the same spot here. We should have some overlapping, by the way. So I'm going to have it go just to the other side of the wall. So here's my left side. And I'll click outside there. So here's my left. And here's my right. So if I make a change to anything in the model elements, it'll be updated. If I change anything in my first floor, it'll be updated in both my left and my right. So it's dependent. These views are dependent on the first floor. So these are usually very good for having things that are very long buildings uh, that you know, they won't fit on a single sheet busting them up into two separate sheets.